Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more The World of Magic. So last time we finally made it to Mushroom Marshland for the first time. And you know, it's pretty cool, you know, the center of the world, like I said before. And yeah, it's pretty damn cool. Oh, hello there, you're here again. Hey there, what's up? You were in my last video. In the last video, I should say. Yeah, you were. Okay, so, this time though, before we actually, you know, start uh, fighting some more mushrooms or enemies, whatever. Yeah, these are the flower elementals. Like I said, they're not hostile. Only if you attack them first will it, will they actually fight back. Okay, uh, what we want to do right now is actually come down here to, uh, Colin. Oh, hello there, another person. Down over... Wait, am I, am I lost? Oh my god. Map time. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. It's actually down there. It's down here. Somewhere. Somewhere here. Yeah, right here. Okay. This little bridge right over here. That's a swamp right there that you saw over here. There's some poisonous spiders. You know, pretty scary stuff, at least at this point in the game. Later on, they're nothing. They're pathetic. Hey there, what's up, bad man? Hey, what's up, Joy Blue and the other faction? But yeah, this is a colon. This guy, NPC. They're talking to him, and so will I. No, I'm trying to tap on colon. There we go. Okay. Hi, I'm Professor Colon, the researcher of Wingfrill Island. What is it that you need from me? Hmm. This island. No, no, I clicked on the wrong thing. Okay, whatever. Wing... The wing whatever tribes. I believe there are traces of the wing floor's existence on this island somewhere. If you find anything, please let me know. So yeah, this is um the stuff that I mentioned. Why damage damage pamphlets are kind of useful in sort of old feathers. If you have five old feathers or three damage pamphlets, you can basically just you know give them to him, and he will give you. Usually, he gives you a recall scroll, I think, which is not too useful. It's not useful. Come on, it's not worth it. But rarely, he's going to give you an enchant scroll. Which is well worth your time. So if you picked up damaged pamphlets, or um, what the hell, oh, old, old feathers. That's right. I'm getting, I'm forgetting, or old feathers. It's uh, worth your time to definitely come and exchange them here. Mystic stones. I don't exchange them because I think the trade-off will balance itself, itself out. If you sell mystic stones in the black trader, which I'll talk about in a future video, you'll leave, like the chance of you getting an enchant scroll will come up to the same value as if you just sold all those mystic stones. So it's not worth it. At least, at least that's the luck I have. I mean, if you guys have more luck than me, then okay, then good for you. Then just keep doing that. But for me, I never exchange mystic stones there. Never. Just damage pamphlets and old feathers. Anyways, we're coming up here to um. I didn't even talk. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I got distracted. I didn't even talk to him about the important thing. Oh my god, I am such an idiot. I am such an idiot. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go ahead and kill this damn thing. And can we actually fight these flower elementals? Because, oh look, potion bag. Worth a bit, you know, worth quite a bit. Okay, let's go back down because I wasted time already. Oh my god. Okay, down here. Hello there. What's up? He can't even talk to me. Watch, uh, I'm going to say hi and then he's going to say question mark because he can't. Actually, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, he, he would probably either just ignore it, or just say something back, and then you'll see some gibberish back. Because he's on the other faction, and you can't read it. Okay, down here to Colin. Now let's actually do the real thing why we came here. Oh my god. This island. A long time ago, a tribe called Wingfrill lived on this island. Oh, that's why it's called Wingfrill Island. Oh, sweet. I don't know why, but somehow they perished. About the missing old will. Okay, tap it. He's a well-known adventurer on the continent. After this island was discovered, he was one of the first to travel here to explore it. But he disappeared a while ago and it has never been seen since. Interesting. Billiad is a friend of Oatwell and they explore together. But he also disappeared. People keep saying they've seen him. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Now what the hell? Okay. Am I supposed to... Wait, what? What the hell? Um. Dude. Dude, what the hell? I'm, I'm, tr I'm clicking on you. What? What? What are you talking about? What, what did I so like? Oh my god, whatever. But anyways, this is the thing you need. So I'm guessing that you're the assistant to help me out. Do you know? Um, okay. I also found this out only a while ago. It was Oatwill and Billigat who helped me with this. But they are currently missing. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is to find them. A few of the villagers are saying that they've seen Oatwill and Billigat. It might not be true, but just in case. I'd like to hear what they have to say since I have some research to do. Can you go? F can you go for me and bring back a record of what they said? Sure, I'll help you out. Why not? No, I'm. 
I'm, I'm tapping it higher because it's like out of sync. I'm tapping the screen higher and it says that I tapped on the text on the bottom. It's weird. How reliable. Then I'll leave you with this. An old man and a few children from the village claim they saw them, so I think you should start from there. Alright, cool. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what we have to do. We go here, our new note. Visit an old man, a boy, and a girl in the town and get a statement from each. Yeah, we're gonna do that like next time probably or something, I don't know. Our main concern right now is to level up at least one more time. And really, it's important to take advantage of these 20% because they, in the long run, they do really help, you know, they stack up. They really do. And as you can see, it is already taking, you know, much more time to level up than before. And, oh my god, just wait. Just you wait until we reach past level 15. And then just you wait once we reach past level 30. That's gonna be ridiculous. I I'm gonna be doing so much cutting and... I don't know how... I mean, to this, to this day, guys, I still don't know how I'm gonna do that. Because honestly, I know that nobody, nobody wants to see somebody kill... The same enemy 5,000 times in a row, okay? Like seriously, who the hell wants to see that crap? Nobody wants to. Can you kill the damn mushroom? Oh my god, you... Oh god. Yeah, um, every time I kill an enemy and they drop stuff, I just spam the pickup button. I don't even see, like right there, there might not be something, but I still go over there and pick up something in case it's hiding or something. I don't know, I just got used to that and I got accustomed to it. And now it's a habit. You know, kill an enemy, go on top of it, and just spam pickup. That's what I do. For example, I'm gonna kill this guy right here, just spam pickup, nothing, and I kill another guy over here, spam pickup. See, I got some gold. See, I was hiding. Sometimes it's useful, such as right there, because you never know. Other times, you're just wasting time. Actually, most of the time, you're just wasting time. Um. Okay, here's another mushroom. What are we at? 75.02? Okay, not bad. There's a dried mushroom there. Yeah, uh, you want to collect 10 dried mushrooms, by the way. I have 8, so I'm getting close. Oh, not bad. Um, okay, here's another one of these guys. Or more of these guys. Okay, I'm at 77.40. I should be, you know, pretty close. Yeah, I'll, I'll easily level up by the end of this video. You know, at least, I hope I do. Um, okay... Got that, I'm not gonna pick up the restoration, but yeah, the only time I don't really spam it is if I see a restoration potion. Because, you know, I don't want to touch it, I just don't want to mess with it. Because I don't want to pick it up and then go to the inventory to trash it or something, because they clog up a lot of- I actually have one, one too much. One too many. One too many drinks. Ah, one- oh, shut up. Okay. Uh, hurry the hell up. Kill these faster, I want to level up one more time. Before the end of this video. What's, we're only at 8 minutes. What the hell am I arguing about? Like seriously. We got plenty of time. We're, we're past the halfway point. Like barely. The halfway point is 7 minutes and 30 seconds maximum. Also most videos I will do them between 12 and 14 minutes. You know. I don't really want to go all the way up to 15 minutes. You know make every video like too long. It's, well see the thing is that many YouTubers nowadays actually upload like 30 minute videos. One per day. I'm like Jesus. That's a, that's a lot of content. Like. People have lives, you know, like, um, well, actually, I shouldn't be talking because I actually upload two videos a day of, like, 12 minutes each. So, technically, that's 24 minutes, which is, like, only six minutes, be like, under what a lot of people do, you know. It's, it's not that much of a difference. It's really not. All right, so I level up. That's cool. Now that we level up, oh, look, Blunt Short Sword. That's worth a good amount of money. Okay, so how much do these guys give me now? Let's see, I'm at 2.12. Kill one. 3.40. Okay, that's about, um... 1.25%, something like that? I don't know. But yeah, now it's actually vital to start fighting Flower Elementals. These are going to be easy to kill to fight because, primarily, you always get the first hit on them because they're not hostile. So you'll have an advantage over that. And then, if, you know, they start to do too much damage, you could easily run away by just stepping a few steps back, get out of their range, and then just, you know attack back once you heal. These are going to be really simple. And plus, these are actually important for getting a drop known as Double Shot Volume 3, which is the main thing we're looking for. However, if we get like Mystic Seas or Staffs, uh, I'm not going to complain. Those sell for a good amount. Okay, here we kill... Uh, we just got some gold. Alright, where the hell are some more flowers? Flowers, hello, oh there you are. What's up, Flower Elemental? Too bad you're gonna die within a few seconds. Whoa, shut up. 
I'm sorry guys, I say a lot of stupid stuff lately, like, I, I mean, I've been saying a lot of stupid stuff lately. My other videos, oh my god. But, oh yeah, by the way, I started Little Legends. Um, if you guys are going to come to us games, you know, primarily MMORPGs, go ahead and check that out, because it's a... Uh, um, the game is now it's like nowhere near as good as this game, in my opinion. Because it's not a real MMORPG, it's more of a build your own village, and then the MMORPG part on the side, you know, it's uh... I don't know. Plus, you don't really get full movement on all your stuff, you know, like, like, you can't move everywhere you want freely, you have to tap on the screen and move somewhere, which is kind of stupid in my opinion. I hate games like that, like, I want games where you can move. I know that in mobile games, it's a bit harder to do that. Shut up, you mushroom. It's a bit harder to do that just because, you know, it's a touch screen, but a lot of games lately have been, you know, transforming into this mechanic, such as, well, I mean, this one is kind of old, you know, like, what, 2010 or something? 2011? I forgot. I think it's 2010 when it came out here. But a lot of the more recent games are always moving like that. For example, the Final Fantasies that have been ported here to iOS, all of them are like that. You know, you can move freely wherever you want using a touch screen, which is really amazing. But some of the games are still like, you know, you gotta tap on the screen to move there, which is freaking stupid. I hate that. I really do. But, yeah, whatever. It's, um... Whatever. It's, it's all subjective, you know. Oh, how did I miss these things? Are you kidding me? Give me this shit. Oh, God, that's why. Um, I wanna, I wanna trash this. Yes, I wanna trash it. Because I want this green power. No, I didn't- Oh my god. No, I don't want that either. Give me this. I should have thrown out a restoration potion, like seriously. Okay. We are nearing 12 minutes. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now- Okay, so far I haven't gotten the double shot. What I'm gonna do now is recall. Here we go. Recall. Now, what I'm going to do is just clear all my- Wait, I was- Okay, no, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so yes, I'm gonna go ahead and sell a bunch of stuff. So let's see. Flame Shock 3, and it can probably sell for more on the Black Trader, but I'm not even a premium member yet. I am going to do it in one of these videos, though. Who cares if I'm taking a loss right now? Whatever. Potion bag, sell that. Old feathers, I'll keep that to try and make a profit with the Enchant Scroll thingy because. Eh, whatever. Uh, 10 of these, okay, I need that. Over here, we have a blunt short sword. Again, this might sell for more in the Black Trader, but I don't really mind it too much the difference. I mean, we already have a good amount of money for now anyway. See that? 3520. Over here... Okay, you know what? I have way too much... Oh my god. Okay. Throw one of these away. For three seconds... Restores 15. For six seconds... Okay, that's the same thing, but, um... The bandage is, the bandage is better, huh? That's... Okay. I'm gonna throw away these magic extraction scrolls because I don't need them. Okay, let's see. Put that there. What else is important? Oh, the document I need. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's take care of that right now. You want to talk to three people in the village, like it says. The first person is Jury. Missing adventure room. I'm not sure, but I did see it. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure, but please tell Professor Cole and I said hello. Okay, that's the first person. When you see that, you'll see you have another document. Young girl statement. Then you want to come over here to Erante. And then he'll pretty much do the same thing, you know, similar thing. And, alright, once you do that, you get a second document. Then you get a third document, which is somewhere over here. Where the hell did everybody go? Oh my god, I'm lagging badly. I am lagging, there we go. Oh my god, that was crazy. That was some huge lag. Okay. Uh, third person is over here, this guy. Velor. Um, okay, so say a similar thing, and there you go. Once you do that, the third document will be right over here. Old man statement. So there we have our three. Next time we're gonna go back to the mushroom marshland. And um yeah, you know, level up some more, go back to colon to see the next part in the quest and other stuff. So uh goodbye everybody and until next time.